I've been learning C++ for over 10 years now, and I went from making simple console games, to making my own engine that's nothing like any engine out there, and even remaking Minecraft from scratch. It all came down to winning this national contest that would give me a free university entry. Was I up to the challenge? And if this is also what you want to do, I promise that my story will not only inspire you, but also progress faster in your own journey, so let's go. My journey starts in 2015, when I was 14 years old. My older cousin was already in high school, and she introduced me to C++. I was always obsessed with creating mechanisms, and C++ for me was just another way for me to do that, but on the computer. So I started learning it, until eventually, I made a Five Nights at Freddy's game in the console. The journey started very smoothly, but all of that was about to change once I entered high school. I was extremely excited to learn some more programming in high school, but unfortunately, this is where my journey turned for the worse. Not only was I not learning anything new or interesting in high school, they expected me to write code on paper for the first year of programming. If you're late to me so far, please consider subscribing, because I'm trying to get 100k till the end of the year. But learning C++ on my own was not easy either, because I was missing something. Console applications were cool, but I wanted to make a graphical application. I wanted to make a real game, but I had absolutely no idea how to do that. I asked my cousin for help yet again, but she recommended me this weird thing. I could make games with it, but it wasn't real programming. So I kept searching on my own. It was at that point when my father gave me this book, and inside it I found my solution. There was this library called graphics.h that would allow me to draw on the screen, and it was exactly what I needed. I just needed to place one pixel on the screen. For multiple pixels, I can draw one sprite, and for multiple sprites, I can make an entire game. There was only one problem. I couldn't for the life of me make this graphics.h library work. I even downloaded a very old editor that came with graphics.h, and that didn't work either, leaving me totally defeated. One day in my high school, however, I saw an older guy making a game in Unity, and I was hooked. So he showed me around the engine, and not gonna lie, I was kinda overwhelmed by all the things there. How can I place one pixel on the screen? Like, why do I need all these entity systems, if I already know how to make my game? Regardless, I downloaded Unity, and made a simple game with it. But things didn't feel satisfying at all. I wanted to make this pixel dungeon game, but like, instead of coding, I was spending all my time building the map, fixing colliders, and in the end, the map was not even grid aligned. But even worse, I was not coding at all. Like, to do anything, I had to use various pre-made tools, and this felt very boring. I wanted to create my own systems and mechanisms, more than I wanted to make my own game. This would get me later to making my own 3D library, and even my game engine, that was totally different from Unity. But for now, I was back to zero, still trying to figure how to make a graphical application in C++. But things will slowly start to improve from here. I discovered this epic YouTube channel called Hobson, that made Minecraft in one week in C++. This felt insane to me, and I was immediately hooked. Minecraft was my favorite game, so combining it with C++ would be a dream project for me. Hobson was using a library called OpenGL and Codeblocks, and Codeblocks already came configured with it, so I gave it a try. I managed to make a simple square on the screen on my own, but I didn't know a tutorial to follow, so I was stuck there. However, looking at more videos from Hobson, he was also using another library called SFML for rendering 2D things. This was what I had been searching for. It took me multiple attempts and all the stress in the world to link it. But finally, I was able to render my first sprite on the screen. From here on, my journey really starts taking a turn for good. Making Minecraft in C++ was my ultimate goal. So to prepare for it, I decided to make a 2D Minecraft first. I started making a simple Terraria clone to gain experience. The development process was going extremely well, and things were going to turn even better, getting me to places I could never even expect. And it all started with my programming teacher. One day, he asked me, Hey, so, there is this programming contest, where high school students all over the country compete with a project. Don't you like to also compete? There are prizes and a coding camp. I, of course, wanted to participate. So I asked one friend of mine to help me finish the Terraria game and participate together in this contest. Now, handling a big game in C++ made entirely from scratch was a bit too much for him to handle, but he helped me in other ways. In fact, if it wasn't for him, and probably for God, to be honest, my story would end here. Because it all came down to this single day that determined the entire trajectory of my life from that point on. And I was so close to missing it, I still can't believe it happened. One day, during high school, my programming teacher called me. What are you doing? Aren't you going to that programming contest? The first part of the contest was that day in one hour, and I was not prepared at all. I didn't even have time to get my laptop. I felt a rush in my heart I never felt before. But this is when my teammates hopped in and saved the day. We went to his home to get his laptop because he was living closer. And in the meantime, I told my parents to open my laptop 
and installed in viewer so I can download the file for my game. It was all down to the last second, because I arrived to present my project just at the last moment and I knew my project was good, but with no preparation at all and with all of this stress, I only got the fourth place, which was not good enough to get me into the national part of this contest and the coding camp. So it all seemed lost. But a few days before the camp was about to happen, my programming teacher called me again. The guy who was third place announced that he couldn't participate. So guess who was taking his place? The coding camp was very cool. I didn't get an incredible score with my project, but something caught my attention. In my country, winning a national programming contest after 10th grade gives you Olympic University entry with no exam and the max amount of scholarship for an entire semester. Not only that, but winning it in 12th grade was useless because contests are after you enter university and the next year I was getting into 11th grade. So that had to be my year. I had to win that contest then, there was no losing. So I finally took out the big guns. Remember that top and gel thing Hobson was using? I started to learn it and I won't lie, it was extremely hard. I spent all my summer learning OpenGL, even while I was with my family on a seaside trip. I was inside learning the basics of OpenGL. Even with many tutorials, the very basics are extremely difficult because first you need to link to OpenGL and then learn a ton of stuff just to get a single triangle on the screen. If you happen to be at this exact point where you want to learn OpenGL but can't put your first triangle on the screen, I made a fail-proof OpenGL course specifically to take this first lesson and convert it into one hour of video content with challenges, quizzes, resources and the best roadmap. So check it out if you are interested. And if you watch this video on release, I even have a promo code for you that is available for a month. Back to my OpenGL journey. I eventually managed to make this simple OpenGL engine. And not only that, but during that programming camp, one of the judges that I met was years ahead of me and he told me what I have to learn next to improve even more. He recommended I follow the Headmate Hero series on YouTube and it was extremely good. With all of my new knowledge and my new OpenGL engine, I entered the contest once again and during the camp, my project got the fifth place, but things were not over yet. You don't win just based on your project. The first five people get into the 24 hour open round where they get a wild challenge. And I'm not kidding when I say wild. Last year, the participants had to make a programming language in 24 hours. This year, we had to implement Git. Like, how do you even do that? But I used the same mentality that I still use now and that I recommend you to have. I just took things one at a time, as simple as possible. So, in essence, what does Git do? It just saves your project, allowing you to do a backup at multiple points. So what if I just make a different folder for each backup and just copy the entire project there? And that was it. So here it is. I made Git from scratch and the comments are all translated to Romanian. So my viewers from Romania will have the laugh of their life now. Now, my implementation was clearly not the best. Another guy implemented deltas and that's very cool. But because my implementation was so simple, I managed to introduce the most features, obtaining the best score for the open round, getting me to the second place overall. And with that, I not only had a guaranteed university entry, I got a ton of money. And also, on my student file, it was handwritten, all big and in caps, Olympic. Which was a cool ego boost to be honest, but my story was not over yet. My first OpenGL engine was kinda cool, but it was very basic and was missing some more difficult features, like normal mapping and shadows. So I came with this idea. Remember Unity? The reason most people choose it is because it does the hard rendering part for you. But what if I could make a C++ library that could do the rendering for you all using some extremely simple API? And this is how GL3D was born. With it, I was finally able to learn the advanced OpenGL concepts and create a very simple to use 3D library for C++. Most 3D games on my channel are made using this library and I'm very proud of it. But this gets us to my most ambitious project yet, making Minecraft in C++ from scratch. So, I already tried it once and went to that national programming contest with it for the third time. And one of the judges told me that I was limiting my potential by not using a game engine. Annoying moment, I know. But that project didn't feel satisfying enough for me. First, it had a few weird bugs. But secondly, it wasn't multiplayer. So, I started learning multiplayer programming and eventually, I started making my third Minecraft clone that had multiplayer and much more implant from the beginning. And I've been working at this project for like 4 years. Before I finish about this Minecraft game, I also want to talk about the game engine that I made, because it is different than any game engine you have seen before. So most game engine projects people make are very similar to Unity, like they get this editor and some form of scripting and entities. Don't get me wrong, this is cool, but those are the features I didn't like on a game engine in the first place. I don't like the rigidity of game engines, I want to implement my own entity system and my own level system that is suited for my game. 
and they want to be in control of the main loop. So this is how Pika game engine was born. Looking at it, it might seem like a normal engine, but it's nothing like that. First of all, the engine does come with my 2D and 3D rendering libraries, but it doesn't force you to use them. In fact, there's absolutely no editor by default. Instead, I made it extremely easy to make your own editor. So for example, if you just want the very basic features, like a camera and lights editor, you just have to write one line of code, and with a few more lines of code, you can already render 3D stuff on the screen. Moreover, you write your game directly in C++, and you can still have hot code reloading, so you can recompile your code while the engine is running. And one of my favorite parts is that you can create plugins or level editors for the engine in the exact same way you write your game. Back to this Minecraft-like game. I'm very happy with it right now. I want to eventually turn it into a full game, but I have a lot more to work on it. But you watch this video till the end, so if you found my story inspiring, please consider subscribing. I really want to get 100k till the end of the year, so you would help me a lot. And now, share this video, and check out my OpenGL course, or my Minecraft-like game. See you!